Hello again. Now I'm gonna show you how to install this star ceiling line. It's with 15 segments. That's the biggest one. Thank you very much for getting one anyway. Okay, there we go. Open the box. Please be careful when using the line. Okay, open the box and I'm gonna take all the components out and put it on the table and give a brief introduction on them. Okay, that's all we get for this line and this is the mounting plate and the segments and its tubes and nuts. Here is the cross and its screws, the drive, remote and manual bolt. Okay, let's get started with this cross. What we need on this step is a marker pen and the screws okay now we are going to put down the cross on the plate find out the small holes on this plate there are many holes here but only four small holes the small holes here on the plate are for this cross make sure all the small holes on this plate under this cross There we go. Okay, let's take a look at here. Small holes under the cross, small holes here, and as well, small holes here. And now we are going to leave a mark right where the position here. This cross and the small holes overlap here. And mark here, mark here. And the last one here and please make sure this course doesn't move when you're doing the mark okay after we let the mark on the cross now we are going to install the screws with flat hex we take out the screws from this bag and the small nuts okay install the screws here the position we have a mark just now and hold it still and fasten with the nut. It's important to keep these screws here. So, okay, that's the cross with all the screws on it. And what's coming next is we are going to show you how to install the tubes to the segments. Okay, now we are going to twist the tubes to the segment. And let's get started with the long tube. Okay, put away the short tubes, use the long tube. And before we're doing that, let's take a look at here. Every tube has two sides. And this side with shorter thread, and this side with longer thread. The shorter thread goes to the segment, and the longer thread goes to the plate. So now let's twist the tubes to the segment. This wire goes through the tube and twist the tube to the cement. Okay, twist another tube to this position here. Short thread here goes to the cement. Okay, every cement has two places for the tubes. Okay, there we go. And let's twist the rest tubes to the cement. Okay, there are the cements with all the long tubes and there is a spare tube left. Okay. Now we are going to install the short tubes to the rest cements there. Okay. The short thread goes to the cement and twist it to the cement. Every salmon has two tubes. Okay, now we have installed all the tubes to the salmon. Uh, it looks kind of mess, but all the salmon with long tubes are here. There are five salmon with long tubes on the plate here. Now we are going to install the salmon with long tubes to the middle holes, middle holes on the plate. Okay, the tubes, the distance between the two tubes equals the distance between the two holes here. Now we are going to 
install the summon. The wire goes through the plate. And then the long thread goes through the plate. And then we are going to fasten the center with the nuts. Hold it still. There we go. It's the same way. Now we are going to install another segment to the plate. Okay, now we have installed all the segments with long tools in the middle holes around the plate. Now we are going to install the segments with short tubes to the marginal holes around the plate. Okay. We have installed all the segments to the plate and now we are going to connect all the wires of each segment to the drive. Here is a connector. This circle clasps all the wire. Okay. Find the right position and insert the wire. Okay. Now we have connected all the wires to the drive. Now we are going to connect the power, let the power in to check if the connection is, is okay and if every segment was okay. Please be careful when doing this. Okay. Inspect every segment. See if every segment was okay. No problem. Here to press this button here, but don't press yet. As long as we turn on the light, press this button immediately. Okay, let's do that. You will see the light flash three times. That means the connection is done. Okay, the connection is done now. Okay, let's try if it works. Okay, no problem. The remote can control the color temperature here. Cold white, warm white, and natural white. Sleeping mode, daylight mode, and turn it on. Turn it on. No problem. How to do the connection between the phone and the light. At the beginning, you have to find the QR code on the menu book here and scan, use your phone, scan the QR code here and then the system will lead you to download the app freely okay after you download the app and install it in your phone that is, that is how it look be prepared to press this on button here this on button be prepared to press it as long as you turn on the light okay turn on the light press it you can see it flashes three times. Okay. That means the connection is down. You can control it with your phone. Okay, let's try it. Cold white, warm white, natural white. Okay, no problem. And adjust the brightness. Okay. No problem. And now we are going to install the cross to the ceiling. And that's how we fix the cross to the ceiling. Look at here. The screws goes through here. So now we are going to mount the place on the ceiling with the marker pen. There we go. And now we are going to install the cross to the ceiling. 
and find the position we just leave a mark here and install the screws one by one and there we go we have installed the cross to the ceiling and now we are going to install the line to the ceiling and it's not an easy job and you should find your family or your friends to assist Okay, that's why you need a friend or your family to assist to install the light here. And you can lift up the light and I can connect the wire here. Okay, the wire is, is connected to the home electricity system. Okay, then we find out the four screws we installed to the cross before. And the screws goes out the plate. And then we use this knob to fasten the light one by one okay like the four screws here okay the light is installed okay the job is done here now we are going to turn on the light see if it works okay there we go no problem